Hi everyone, welcome to Solution In, and we are here for another Excel made easy calculation. Today we will be calculating YTM or yield to maturity in Excel. The formula is uh, narrated in the Excel spreadsheet. Let me take you guys to there. Uh, first of all, we'll take the a quick overview of the formula that is here. What individual items are take, you know, discussed in here, we'll see it one by one. And on the right side, I'm taking uh, the calculation of bond price, how the bond price will be reached, and how we can check it the using the same rate that we calculated uh, in the YTM. So this will uh, cross-check our calculation uh, for bond price also. So let's take the formula items one by one. First one is the face value. This is normally the face value of the bond. Second one is the coupon rate. And third one is the payment. Payment is calculated using the formula uh, by multiplying the coupon rate with the face value. Now note that the present value should be negative value because it is taken as a negative cash flow when you purchase a bond. You, ex you actually spend something. So let's take the example, taking 1000 uh, as a bond face value is pretty much standard. So when we take the coupon rate, let's assume it uh, 9%. So we will multiply the coupon rate with the face value to get the payment. That's uh, actually the interest payment is going to be 90. Oh, or percentage, let's convert it to dollar symbol it's 90 so taking the number of maturity years to 15 years for example let's say as i have designed a example on the right side with the same number of years so bond price let's assume at 964 let's say so when we use the above figures by putting the formula in the excel cell we just start with the rate give the number of periods that's 15 years comma then give you the payment that we calculated as 90 then we will have to make sure that we use the negative present value for the bond price that's minus 964 and then we take the face value so here we go the real ytm yield to maturity for the above calc above uh, inputs is 9.46 percent now we'll take the same rate as a discount factor so that we can check that if we reach the same bond price that we used in the example so let's take the present value interest factors that's one plus the rate now here we will be fixing this because this will be the rate will be same for all 15 years so and then we increase the exponent by minus the number of year it is going to calculate for it is going to be so we will just not fix the number of years in this case we just fix the rate all right this is the discount factor for one year and here it is for all 15 years so for our case payment was 90 we will be fixing it also because this will be going to be same for all 15 years so drag it down like that so make sure that on the 15th year you will also get your face value back that you spent for uh, buying the bond so we will assume that redemption value is equal to 1000 that's the face value so all set up we'll just multiply the present value interest factors with the uh, payments interest payments and then we'll get the present value of cash flow for that particular year drag down to all through the number of 15 years so we'll just sum up the present value of all the cash flows including interest payments and redemption value here we go so as you can see the same value appears by calculating the present value of cash flows it means the bond price is the present value of future cash flows at the rate of yield to maturity so this is how we we calculate the uh, ytm and how we can recalculate the 
technically the which is the IRR of the bond that's called the yield to maturity so here we uh, have today we have seen the how to calculate the YTM in Excel and how we can cross it verify it using Excel simple calculations so if you have any questions regarding this video you can ask me in comments so stay tuned with solution and for upcoming videos take care